Well, what we know is that uh, tourism is expanding extremely rapidly, and that's a great thing for many people, for many places. But it's not always a great thing, and there are dangers in this incredibly rapid expansion. Uh, there are dangers for uh, children, there are dangers for local community, there may be dangers for the environment. Uh, we want to make sure that this benefits to everybody and not just only to a few. So there is a strong ethical dimension to this issue. And the committee I uh, have the privilege to chair is uh, in charge of making sure that ethical principles are uh, promoted, uh, observed, uh, permanently uh, evaluated in this big system uh, which encompasses both uh, governments, uh, the private sector, and civil society. So the committee is tasked with making sure that the ethical dimension of tourism is in everybody's mind while benefiting uh, to the people of this planet. Well, there are many, and uh, we have to focus on a few. Uh, for instance, uh, inclusiveness of tourism. We have to make sure that disabled people, for instance, or poorer people have access to uh, tourism services as well as others have. There are issues with sustainability. It may be that expanding tourism uh, damages uh, the local environment, uh, uh, the sea, uh, the ocean, uh, mountains. We have to be careful about that. There are issues which have to do with children. Uh, we know that in some countries, unfortunately, uh, children ha have been taken uh, into sexual abuse because of the growth of tourism industry. So there are issues of this kind, including uh, more recent issues, like, for instance, whether these new rating sites which you consult to see whether a place or a hotel or a camping is okay, we have to make sure that this ab abides to normal integrity deontological principles. So those are just a few examples of issues we are dealing with. Uh, of course, making sure that on the ground these concerns are taken into account. 